Good morning, my name is Marco Zuppone, I am a Dell case trainer and in this short video I am going to explain you how it is possible to connect to the K1000 database. The K1000 database in, in the internal one is MySQL and is accessible in read-only mode. Why you sh uh, should want to access this database? There are ma many reasons to do that. One reason uh, could be that uh, accessing this database you will be able uh, uh, to uh, find out if your uh, SQL code for complex report is is good. You can create custom reports in the K1000 and uh, uh, use uh, directly SQL, or you may, or you want to create very complex smart labels. So you need to define them with a with a SQL statement, and you want to find out if this SQL statement is uh, is correct before to copy into the smart label definition. Um, first of all. Uh, we need to find out if uh, it is possible to connect to the database. Uh, normally this feature is enabled by default on the K1000, but it's better to verify it. So let's connect to the administrative interface. Admin. We go under the setting, security setting, and we can find out here if the database access is enabled. In the enable database access uh, functionality need to be ticked. Okay, now we need, uh, if you don't have uh, it done it already, you need to download the MySQL Watchbank tool. To download it, you need to go to the mysql.com uh, and go to Downloads generally available and uh, MySQL Watchbank tool. There are two editions for Windows available. It is uh, available for other operating systems as well. The MSI that I suggest you or the uh, zip one. Let's go to download this one. You need to log in. Um, if you do not have a login, you can create one, it's totally free and this software is is free as well once you have downloaded and installed it using the default option you can run it Need to open the connection. Okay, the host name in my case is this one K1000. The username. The username um, normally is R1. You can find the username here. If we return back to the administrative GUI, we go to the setting again, general settings and you can find here that the database name is org1 and the username is rr1 if you have an organizational license, if you have an org K1000 organization license uh, you will have a database for every organization, you will have a, and so uh, you will need to enter here in the administration interface and find out what is your database name and username. The uh, usernames in MySQL are case sensitive, so uh, capital R1 is not the same of um, lowercase r1. Okay, we press OK. The password, the password, there is a default password and it is box 747 that's okay as you can notice there are two, two databases uh, um, the one that you will use more is this one org1 
and it contains most of the interesting tables. For example, we can have a look to the machine table and, and you can create more complex query uh, using this tool, test them and then use or inside the, the K1000 or inside your favorite tool. I hope you enjoyed uh, this session. Thank you very much. Uh, for further information, uh, please always refer to our uh, internet site uh, um, and IT Ninja as well is very rich of all this uh, uh, information about the usage of the K1000 and the K2000 plus a lot of other things. Um, thank you very much. Uh, have a nice day and bye.